Steven Anderson, strategy leader, PwC Middle East. It's great to have you here with us, Economy Middle East. Thank you, nice to meet you. Now, I'll kick off with uh, AI is evolving rapidly. What are the key trends shaping AI adoption in the region? And what industries are leading AI cloud adoption in particular? Sure, I think the big trend is confidence. Uh, and you see that here at Leap, uh, and we see confidence in four levels. One from CEOs, uh, so in our CEO survey, 82% of CEOs said they've already adopted Gen AI. 70 cents, so it was going to lead to better profitability this year. Uh, also confidence in the economy. 98 cents of CEOs are confident about revenue growth in Saudi. And if you're confident about revenue growth, then you're more likely to invest. I think thirdly, the government's confident. So the big announcements uh, this week already of $14.9 billion uh, further investment on top of a load of investment already. And, and finally, confident from the population. Actually, in our hopes and fears survey, we found that People in the region are much more confident about using Gen AI. I want to get involved in it and also think about it in terms of their upskilling. From an industry's perspective, all industries uh, are being impacted here in the region. I'll come on and talk a bit more about that. Wonderful. Well, on that point, um, how is PwC supporting businesses in, in integrating AI into their operations, drive efficiency and competitive advantage? Sure. So, so we're doing three big things in the region. Firstly, we're working with the national champions who are at the, the leading edge of AI in the region. That would be either developing large language models. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of engineers here in the region, probably the largest team uh, in the region around Gen AI. And secondly, on the data side of things or data centers and the energy part of things, so the national champions. Secondly, we're working with many of the leading industries in the region. So that might be government transformation, making Gen AI at people's fingertips uh, in the experience side of things, so sports, tourism, uh, and culture. And then finally, we're the biggest user of OpenAI, uh, OpenAI's enterprise chat GPT in the world. So I have 10,000 people in the region, all 10,000 are using either enterprise GPT or they're using Copilot. And therefore we're taking that learning of what we've done ourselves and bringing that to our clients in terms of how do you upskill and how do you draw drive efficiencies? We've seen 20 to 30% efficiency gains and we're taking that to our clients. And I think another important issue is how companies are balancing innovation with security, compliance, when adopting new emerging technologies? Yeah, there's two big challenges for our clients. Uh, one's around data, particularly privacy, uh, cybersecurity, uh, and uh, residency. And then secondly, there's, uh, there's challenges there uh, on the second side of things around uh, responsible AI. Uh, so we're working in three or four different ways. One, we're helping to put governance frameworks in place to make sure that in terms of the ethics of how you're using AI, um, secondly, around using AI to help with security, so real-time threat management. Uh, and then finally, around accountability and traceability. So when you're using AI, how do you know how the AI is making the decisions and can you have an audit trail around it? It's also helping that in the region, we're now seeing more local clouds, lots of investors from the big cloud providers. So data residency is becoming less of a challenge than it has been historically, helping to speed things up. And finally, what is PwC's vision for the future of technology and digital transformation here in the Middle East? So we're super excited about the region, particularly here in Saudi. We have over two and a half thousand people here in Saudi, half of whom are Saudi nationals. About 37% of our people are female. And so we'll continue to invest in that, in that wave. I think secondly, Vision 2030 has been remarkable. And the, the pace of change has been transformational. And what I'm really excited about is with AI and technology, we'll see that really accelerate through to 2030. And who knows when we come up with the 2040 plan, helping to drive that as well. Stephen Anderson, fantastic insights. Thank you for joining us here at Economy Middle East.